What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all can call me Chrissy, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Happy Monday, y'all, and for anybody who's going through some midterms, God bless you, because child, truth is I'm tired and options are for you. But let's go ahead and jump into this quick update. So it seems like Jazz and Crystal are officially over. Crystal retweeted, y'all scared of being single. I'm scared of being in another pointless ass relationship. How the f*** you mad when I gave you 100 tries? Don't connect my name to a soul. I don't care, I don't care. Y'all always quick to assume something was my fault, STFU. Now she was talking to some of the supporters because at this point, people noticed that Jazz and Crystal unfollowed each other on both Instagram and Twitter and they deleted any pictures of each other on their feeds. Then she said, ugh, can't wait till I run into a real bitch. I ain't letting him out my sight. I'm not gonna lie, it seemed like Crystal was throwing a little bit of shade because first she was talking about how she didn't want to go into another pointless ass relationship. And here she says she can't wait until she finally runs into a real nigga. Then she retweeted this post that said, next time y'all know my business, I'ma pop out with a baby in a ring. Other than that, it's quiet. So we could assume she's gonna be keeping her next relationship quiet, but we gonna see because I know some people can't run away from those YouTube couple checks, okay? Now I just thought this was weird because literally just the other week, Jazz tweeted, we both got left with a broken heart. We can put them together and divide it. I don't know, I feel like Jazz's tweet kind of gets off mixed emotions because it does address the fact that they got together after recently getting out of a relationship, but it also suggests that they could help each other get themselves back together. But really, it seems like they should have just taken the time to themselves after they got out of their relationship. I don't know how long Crystal was with Polo G, but we know that Jazz was with Tay for the past three years. They lived together, they had a whole house, they had a couple channels, so obviously Jazz has her rights to talk to people and do her own thing. I feel like she shouldn't have dove into anything too serious, especially making YouTube channels and a YouTube video. And that's the thing about being a YouTuber, I feel like especially if you're just in a talking stage or just still getting to know somebody, you shouldn't put them on a whole platform and a pedestal. Now I do want to say that I feel like people have really been speaking this into existence. Like literally every minor thing that happened between Jazz and Crystal, whatever it looked like a breakup, whatever it looked like cheating, it would be on YouTube the next day even if it didn't mean anything like people really kind of spoke this into existence I know some people didn't like Crystal some people felt like she had an attitude some people just miss Jazz and Tay being together which I really want to know what Tay's thinking but y'all I learned like with my friends and family if they're telling me something going on with their relationship I can only go off of what I know and what I see but at the end of the day that's not enough to make a full judgment on somebody's whole relationship and whether or not they should be together because I feel like we all know what it's like to vent about our significant other we're kind of giving our friend or family member all the bad stuff we don't tell them all the good stuff or all the little shit that doesn't matter but low-key matters you know so I never feel like I can make a full judgment on anyone's relationship like unless it's blatantly bad we didn't know everything to make that judgment you know like we weren't with them when the camera was off we weren't with them when they were just together there's so many missing moments in a relationship that could really make or break it. Only the two people in their relationship know what's up for real. So I honestly feel like it was kind of messed up that people were speaking this into existence because people really were, and people were not feeling crystal. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely lasted longer than I thought, but I do hope that Jazz takes time for herself. Even if that means being a whore, go ahead, spread your legs and fly. Just take some time to yourself and really heal. Get to love yourself and overall just give yourself time. Like you need to breathe, especially after being with somebody for three years and living with them, growing with them. You definitely need time to just get yourself together. And I also wish the best for Crystal. I mean, she has a business, she has a son. She has a lot more than herself to think about. So hopefully these two get it together, take whatever time that they need, and to grow in the process. But y'all, that has been my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment out what you guys think below. Did you guys think that Crystal and Jazz were a cute couple? Do you guys think that anybody is to blame for their breakup? Are you guys still hoping for Jazz and Tay to get back together? Comment out what you guys think below. Find me on Instagram at mustache at Chrissy Talks and H.Chrissy, Chrissy, two S's, two Y's. I love and appreciate you guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, she the girl. Oh, yeah. She the girl. She the girl.